And it's much better to get there where you need to be and then pull them up, to bring them up to your level. And because you can only push, do you want to push somebody all day long? Does that sound fun to anybody? No, <laughs> right? And I look, we look for leaders like that. So you sort of stepped up and said, I'm in. What do you need? Let's go. Um, and that's what we always look for, especially in our industry, because it's we always talked about it's it's ready, fire, aim, right? It's we just go, go, go. And talk a little bit about failing and how important that is. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, through every heartbreak, every tragedy, every failure in life, there is a hidden Easter egg. And once you find it, tremendous healing, growth, and leveling up takes place. So I always say fail forward. You know, um, you grow from every challenge that you go through. And if you weren't making mistakes, you wouldn't be learning anything. You know, I was thinking about like Thomas Edison. It took him like 10,000 tries to make a light bulb, like 10,000 tries. When he was asked, like, why didn't you give up? He said, I didn't fail. I just found 10,000 ways to not make a light bulb. And that's that gross mindset that we've been talking about because everything, like everything that happens in life is for your highest good. It readies the soil. It plants the seeds for you to learn lessons and grow. But then it's just up to you if you decide to grow, right? That free will always mm -hmm. exists. But everything is happening for you. Yeah. And I think it's great because it's always a great example. I know. I used to, people who know me for a long time, I used to always talk about the kernel, right? And the recipe for chicken and how many oh, times, yeah. <laughs> and right? That's, and so I stopped using that because I used it so much. But it's so true. I mean, it's that it's that persistence and and don't there we go. Somebody just Christina just put here. Look at this. Don't give up. Learn. It's yeah. learning every single day. It's fall forward. There's so many terms around this. It's things that we create. It's it's every time we fail you. It's just a learning. We're just proceeding to the next learning. It's how many times are you willing to fail? And I can tell you, I failed a lot. I I just going to continue to fail. I mean, just right. Just look at the little ones, right? You know, they hit, especially, you know, when they hit two years old, there's a lot of failing. Um, but it's those things that we continue to move every day. And we're so excited to have you not only part of the team, but this is a family. And the other thing, too, is for those of you listening out there, October 24th, virtually or live at Barnes & Noble, Chris will be on a panel there. Chris is part of the show. Chris said, I'll come and help. Oh, it's going to be crazy. You should see all the people coming. But um, at the same time, we're going to go virtually to all the different countries and really show what we're doing. And you're part of that because you're part of a movement of leadership. And if you take a look at academies of leadership and how our mindset's going to move forward, it just doesn't get any better. And, you know, and next time we get on, we're going to have you and you have a you have a partner on this. And Misty's amazing. Knowing her, she's oh, training okay. somewhere or doing that wonderful stuff. So she's always somewhere. I always say, where are you this time? Um, any any last words for our audience? So they'll just anchor and they'll definitely come to Barnes & Noble or watch the show and definitely listen to the next things you say. Yeah, you know, you were talking about failure and you were talking about modeling it for our children. And it just made me think of this story I just heard. I think it was the CEO of Spanx. Every day when she was growing up, her dad would ask the kids, how did you fail today? So you can almost look at it as this exciting thing in life because then you get to grow. And when you step outside of your comfort zone and allow that, that's where your dreams happen, right? On the mm -hmm. other side of your comfort zone. So I think it was Crystal was talking about let go of your fear because on the other side of all that, that's where tremendous growth happens. And it's it's so exciting. And then on that side, you look back and you're like, oh, that's why I went through that. Like, <laughs> oh, it all makes sense now. Like, I'm so grateful I went through all that. Thank God I went through all that. Yeah, thank God. You know, this has been awesome. First of all, everybody put a 10 in the chat and give Chris a thunderous <laughs> round of applause. You know, it was great to have you on today. It's great the things that we're doing. And this is just the beginning. Actually, we haven't even started yet. I mean, think of everything we're creating and doing. We're really, it's not even starting until probably two years from now. If you think of just, if you look at the globalization of everything we're doing and at the Tribune, we're so excited because of the strength and the power and 